hello hi everyone welcome back to a new weekly vlog it's currently monday i've just got out of the bath and i've done a layer of tan which is developing hopefully it'll look nice in the morning and not patchy i haven't done tan since we got back from holiday so before we went on holiday i got a spray tan but then since we got back from holiday i haven't fake tanned but tonight i just fancied it so i did i need to do skincare actually talking on my story tonight about doing a certain type of video but I'm actually going to ask on the weekly vlog to see what you think so if you follow us on Instagram I like to do small little ASMR style reels sometimes I put them on my stories if I don't think it turned out good enough for an actual reel I've done skincare ones makeup ones I've done some like packaging of parcel ones as well and my favorite 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 ASMR to listen to is basically just like everyday sounds and <laughs> I really want to do a full video where I don't talk but it is literally just ASMR of everyday sounds wrapping parcels that I might have sold things on Depop my skincare my makeup like literally just a full day with me of everyday sounds that I feel I got ASMR if it's raining we'll get a bit of rain ASMR in there and I just feel like this would be the most relaxing coziest common video ever but I want to hear your opinion. Do you want a video where I don't talk? We'll literally just do a full day of ASMR. Maybe a bit of cleaning. Or, and cooking as well. Like cooking, chopping. Oh, I just love everyday sounds. Or is that just really, really weird? Now that question's out and about there. I need to do my skincare. Okay, so... I've obviously cleansed my makeup off with the cleanser that I have in the bathroom and then I always double cleanse. I'm going to go in with the Pixie Skin Treat Vitamin C Cleanser. I've actually been through probably three bottles of this stuff now. I absolutely love it. Um, I remember when I was in New York, I used this range. So the smell of it just reminds us of being in the hotel at New York. See, so look at that. Still got like loads of makeup on that I just thought was off. Once I'm double cleansed, I'm going in with my eye cream. The current one I'm using is actually this one, which I got from Ireland. It's Embryolysis just yeah it just what i really like about it is it's actually cooling. It's actually cooling, so when i put it on my eyes, it just is nice and cool. Very nice, very nice, very good. Okay, and then the next thing I'm going to do is go in with my Skin In Me. I have been using Skin In Me since the beginning of this year. You have probably seen us talk about it again and again and again. I think I had about a month's break from using it between like now and the beginning of the year. And honestly, that month I had quite a few flare ups in my skin, so I started using it again. And uh, let's just say it will not be leaving the routine anytime soon. This segment of the video is very kindly sponsored by Skin In Me, but I buy skin and me monthly with my own money i would just like to tell you a little bit more about skin and me so if you haven't heard of them skin and me makes powerful personalized skincare skincare contains active ingredients that you cannot get within over-the-counter skincare the product is designed by dermatologists so you know the right people are behind the product which means you actually get expert care of dermatologists but you don't have to pay the price tag this isn't just a one shop product it is completely personalized to you you fill out a little questionnaire on the website which gives them an idea and indication of your skin type they'll ask you a few questions that are relevant obviously to make your perfect formula they also personalize the skincare to your skin goals as well so if you have dry skin and you're looking hydrated a bit more this is a goal that they could cater for when they're creating your unique one fine with a lot of skincare products i squirt loads out my hand and i've often got a huge waste on my hand and i'm scraping it on towels and all that well with the skin and me daily dose that this doesn't happen so it actually twists like this and it'll give you the perfect recommended amount for the day and then you just pop it all over your skin but yeah it means that there's no wastage of product which is perfect because you're actually using everything that you pay for do do a subscription service just before you're about to run out of your daily door set you will get another one delivered direct to your door so you don't need to worry about it pause cancel or resume the subscription at any time though so no worry if you find that it's just not working for you we are a cruelty free and vegan skincare brand which is something that i now look for and i'm very very conscious of also recommend stripping back your routine though with the skin and me you don't need 
lots and lots and lots of product my skincare routine used to be about eight steps but now I've managed to get it down to like three or four which I'm pretty pretty happy with saves a lot of time saves a lot of package all of the products that's going to be are made to order so if there's no order they're not going to make it which means there's less waste if you would like to use the discount code demi yt for demi youtube that will get you your first month for £3.50 instead of £24.99 so it is a huge saving and if you have wanted to invest in your skin yourself or anything like that then give it a try out for £3.50 what's not to love at that bargain price and if you find it's not for you like I said you can just cancel but I but I rest assure you you'll absolutely love it my evening routine is pretty simple once I've did it my skin and me I then just go in with a tiny tiny bit of the hydrating milk from pixie now the reason I do this particularly it's just around my nose literally just to stop us getting flakes of skin and then these are just added extras like if I want to do them I will sometimes I don't but the next thing I do is my um pixie glow mist I just putting a mist on before bed makes us feel bougie lip balm because, you know, we're getting into chapped lip season. And I don't want them. And this is my skin looking very fresh, very nice. It just feels lovely, my skin, when I go to bed and I've got a good routine that I know that works instead of just putting an endless amount of product on my face and not actually knowing what it's doing and why. So I do like to have a good skincare routine. Anyway, I'm going to head off to bed and I'll catch you in the morning. Hi. Hi. We have been shit since we got back from holiday, I think. Are you? Hi. Stopped. I think the holiday just oh. like we were doing so good as well. Yeah. We were motivated with videos, we were fucking eating well, we were like just doing good and then the holiday just I feel like you're always when you because when you get out of a routine it is harder to get back in it and right. we've just not we haven't like done completely bad in terms of back to the way we were a few months ago. No no I've still done the shopping that and Yeah. More or less been eating from that. It's just and you've actually been back to boxing. You haven't no, gone no. this week, but... No. Just on that. It's weird, isn't it? I feel like the last two weeks since we got back, we've just been like, housework, walking the dogs. Like, we haven't been into the fitness. We've no. still cooked meals, which is good, because obviously we did have a really bad rut where we were, like, relying on takeaways, and, like, that's obviously how we piled the weight on, which we've obviously spoke about, and that's what we were, like aiming to change yeah. so we have changed that aspect like i still feel our mindset's completely different yeah. like we have we do crave takeaways and we still have ha have them but like our mindset isn't now always get a takeaway like we'll have food in the house now which is a much better place to be in both financially and health wise yeah. just had a subway that's it isn't it yeah this week so it's not bad no not at all tonight we're going out for a meal because it's one of sean's friends birthdays He's 30th, so we're all going out for a nice meal, so that'll be nice. And it's like a nice place, I think it looks nice, so right. we'll have that tonight and then we'll right. not have one really till next week, will we? Okay. So yeah, I think, you know, the weekly vlogs haven't been that entertaining because it's so hard to vlog stuff when we're not really doing much, like we're... Don't know really, yeah. Nah, we're just getting up, walk on the dogs. Obviously, I've been focusing on rehearsals because the shows are coming up in... Well, end of this month. So I've been doing rehearsals for the show that I'm in, Harvey, um, which I'm really excited for. And don't hear the don't hear the news. I actually auditioned and I got a part in Panto as well. So I'm going to be doing shows right up until the end of the year, which I'm really excited about because I was thinking the other day, when the Harvey show's over, that's the end of it. Like no more rehearsals, no more like being on stage. But it's not the end of it. Right up until the end of the year, I'm going to be right. performing, and I'm so excited. So I'm actually going to be in Panto as well. We're doing Peter Pan for Panto. Exciting! Are you going to come? Call me. Are you excited? Call me. You're going to stand in the crowd and go woohoo! Mm. You know, my dad. I was speaking to him the day right. My dad told us he's booked front row. Was he? I went front row. He went, well, I wanted to see it. I went, Dad, it's a small theatre. You'll see us anyway. And he was like, well, I know, but you know. I was like, I knew he would book front row, you know. Me mum hasn't. Me mum's booked the middle. I think you have booked the middle, haven't you? Three or four back. Oh, yeah. you three or four back? Three or four from the front. Aye. <coughs> you get a good look at us then. Mm. Nurse Kelly. <laughs> well, tell me that me... sanity. <laughs> Good morning, James. How are Here's my little hyena. Right, I'm done. There she is. Oh, she's not in. There she is. Oh, <laughs> guys, Luna is the cuddliest, isn't she? She literally pulls you in for a cuddle. Ridiculously cute. You're ridiculously cute. You are. 
Mommy's little princess. Look at your long neck. <gasps> I like a swan. But yeah, so I think overall the weekly vlogs haven't been that entertained in the last few weeks. Um, just because we've just been, every day has just been, every day we've just kind of been getting on with stuff and it's just, yeah, been a bit boring to be honest. Now the weather has changed and now it's hotter. Yeah. Maybe it's like, ugh. Talked about putting the heating on the other day and we're like, yeah. start of winter now, like. Yeah, it is the pup's birthday this month though. They are turning two. Mad, in it? That yeah. one we brought them in two years ago and they were little dumplings. So yeah, we've got that coming up there, birthday. Yeah, birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah, we just basically wanted to jump on and just obviously tell you where we're at and stuff because I know we're kind of, we're good at keeping you on track just before we went away, we went away and then it's just been like, Brick yeah, like nothing. But next week's a new week. You're going to book your box in? I am going on Monday. Are you going on Monday? You already booked it. I'm going to actually try and go back out on my bike because I really like doing the bike rides. Why can is that look for? Because you're okay. I am. <laughs> I really like the bike rides in lockdown, Sean. You're going to do three lamp posts and turn back. Don't go off, will you? I'm gonna try and do some bike rides, guys, okay? And I have rehearsals next week, though, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, so they're taking up a lot of my time. But I love it! Guys, I've been and had my makeup done, but it's inspired by a celebrity, which I've never, ever had my makeup inspired by a celebrity before, but it was for another main channel video that I really wanted to film, and I'm obsessed, like... I love it so much guess below who you think this makeup look is inspired by and then obviously look out for that video and then you'll find out all but i'm gonna curl my hair and i'm gonna try the new curlers that i got from the car boot sale last weekend if you haven't seen last week's weekly vlog i went to a car boot and i bought these really thick babyliss curlers because i feel like they're gonna give us a really bouncy curl so i'm gonna try them while i look so glam as well since i've had like the makeup done and the hair done there's some reels that I've had on my to-do list to film for the longest time, so I'd like to get them done. So, I thought if I curl my hair, then I can get them done. I've got high hopes for these curlers, so I hope that don't let us down. I don't usually clamp my usual ones, but I am going to try clamping these and see what happens. I'm going to tra tra try it the traditional curl way and see if it gives us a good curl. One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Stop! Okay. Yeah, these are what I want. A lush, big, loose curl. We like them big. By the way, guys, it was Maya at CM Aesthetics who did my makeup. I go to her majority of the time um, since I went to her for the Chloe Ferry video I done like years ago. The Chloe Ferry salon video. Look, I love these curls. At the waves I'm getting. These are just exactly what I wanted. Obviously, I've got a straight bit there. I'll pick that up with the next bit of hair. Okay, they look a bit ringlety because I do like more of a waved, bouncy, blow-dry curl. But as soon as you, like, waft them, the ringlety side of them goes and then they just look bouncy. So what I do with the front of my hair, because I get this gap in the front, which I hate... So I brush it and then I back comb it a bit just to kind of keep the front from gapping and I feel like it's worked. It's a hack that's worked. Okay, I'll have to go and grab that front bit in a second. I'm actually buzzing with these. Okay, I'm just going to do this bit because it fell out of the hair before. Like what I wanted, like bouncy, wavy, blow dry curls. I'm so happy. Oh. I just love my hair curled, you know. Like, I just like, I don't brush it because I find if I brush it, it does come out. I just kind of run my fingers through it just to kind of give us that blow dried wave. Yeah, I like love my hair curled so much. But I always feel like it just takes too long and I never do it. But it actually doesn't take us that long. I just need to do it more. Because the thing is, is when I straighten my hair, it doesn't stay straight at all. Not even the slightest bit. So I feel like when I straighten it within an hour, it just looks like I haven't done anything to it. Which obviously, in my opinion, makes my hair look worse. Is that the right way? What's happening to these ones? Okay, it's got nice... All right, this side is not working. Right, okay, that one is kind of curled. I feel like they're going the complete wrong way, though. 
they're going in my face but I want them out what am I doing wrong how can't I work this out I feel like I've done it both ways you know what I mean because if not I'm just gonna seem particularly fussy but like you see how these curls are going out well that's what I want for this side right wait there all right I'm gonna try this way because I've done the other way before yeah that's it have I not actually done that yet I love how like thick the barrel is though because it is giving more of a bouncy blow dry curl it does that look bouncy blow dry I feel like it kind of does doesn't it or does it look like I'm so fussy on curls you know like if the curl isn't the way that I want it I feel like the full hair looks shit because I feel like you can easily like curls can easily look bad why am I like this? Please tell me somebody else is like this. Or use like this when you're trying to do your hair. You know what? It's going to do for the reels. I'm going to leave it like this for now. Because I haven't really got time to be changing it. If I want to get anything done before we go. I mean, I'll just have to... I'll probably wear my hair back behind my head. But for the reels anyway. So you won't even say it. But I feel so glam with this makeup. I love it so much. Basically, I went to my nana's through the week. And every time I go to my nana's, I'm like, are you not sorting your wardrobe out, nana? And she's like, how are you then? So we'll go upstairs. And then she'll give us a bunch of stuff that she doesn't want anymore. And then, like, you know, me, me, mum and nana always kind of swap clothes. And we have for years. Like, we just do it. So I want to show you what new clothes I've got. But they're actually from my nana's wardrobe. So she gave us this coat which is actually a really decent quality coat and the colour is quite nice it is a regatta padded coat but I did think that this would be a nice coat to walk ah the pubs clearly like this one but yeah I took this one because she didn't want it and I thought it would be nice to walk the dogs just got a dirty tissue in thanks Nana but yeah I just thought this would be really nice to walk the dogs so I took that okay and then i got some new jammy bottoms off her they're just wide leg ones but they've got star print all over them just because i really like her jammy bottoms she gets these like really soft ones so she gave us them oh and then because she knows i love the green color she said oh i didn't think you would wear this which to be honest like i feel like i would if i cropped it a bit so i really like the color of this so i feel like i wouldn't wear it like that but what i would do is and tuck it underneath and crop it there like i feel like this would be cute and i really like the colors like on it and the pattern yeah i like this one you know actually i'm actually going to keep the stuff out that i got off nana and i'm going to i think i might do a reel like, you know, just like styling the new items that I got from my Nana's wardrobe. I'm going to keep them out in case I want to do that. Oh, and then she gave us a dressing gown because she said she doesn't um, wear it. It's too hot for her. And it's in a nice black velvety material. And it's got a hood. And it's got a belt in pocket. So this is just a long sleeve black top. But I wear these quite often. And Nana wasn't bothered about it. This is nice. It's just a basic. Again, I would crop it because I just do that with all my clothes but it's just a nice thing even with just like a pair of flares if I want a really basic day she give us some trousers that are from F&F and, &F and they're like black they're like kind of tailored and they've got like a little gold buckle thing no they're too tight on my legs they're fitting as like a legging which is not what I wanted so I'm gonna give them ones back to Nana okay nana for years has always got these soft pants in our wardrobe they're like a jammy material but they're everyday pants and me and well i love them i don't know where the hell she gets them from like on an everyday day these are so comfortable to wear with like a black top so i said nana i love these like she give us i don't i wear the one she give us ages ago as jammies now like these ones she gave us years ago with this pattern on but they're like they've they've gone a bit old so they're jammies now and then also like a striped pair which again are a bit older but this pair are a recent one so they would be nice as everyday 
casual trouser. Yeah, like isn't this a cute little casual outfit with Nana's pants? Okay, so that's everything that Nana gave us. Thanks to Nana for letting us shop my wardrobe. Honestly, I love doing it. Like, I come away and I've got new bits, which I'm always really excited about. But yeah, this morning I had a really lovely morning. So long story short, I was at a family party last weekend and somebody, somebody, so a friend of somebody who was there was actually a watcher of my channel. So they were saying, oh my God, like my friend watches your channel and I got a photo with this lady so she could send it to her friend. Um, and today I actually knocked on a door with my mum. I gave her some birthday presents and stuff like that because it was actually her birthday and it was just to kind of say like, thank you for supporting my channel and stuff. And honestly, things like this when they happen it makes it surreal that like people actually do watch my channel so that was a lady called melissa so i would just like to say melissa i hope you had an amazing birthday and it was absolutely lush to meet you this morning and when things like this happen it honestly makes us realize that there is actually people that watch my channel and how much like not i know this can sound like quite big-headed but like so many of you actually do come up to us and i get to chat with you and if i don't if you don't come up i always have dms on instagram of people saying the scenes places and they know they were too shy to come up and honestly if you ever ever see us anywhere please come up like i'd love to have a chat with you i'd love to get to know you a bit and I, I just love it i love it so much it's really 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 nice to see the faces behind the screen and I, I just love it so much and i'm just feeling really grateful and appreciative this morning okay guys so i am gonna end this weekly vlog here so i can get it uploaded and scheduled for tomorrow's upload thank you so much for supporting us on another week's vlog and watching my channel and yeah i hope you all had a great week let us know what you were doing below and i would also like to say thank you at skin and me for sponsoring the segment of this video remember that if you want to invest in your skincare you can click the link below to find out more about skin and me and just to see if it's something you would like to try but yeah, without further ratatat, I'm going to let you go and I'll see you very shortly for another one. Bye!